So what I'd like to do is to spend a bit of time with you and take you on a little bit of a journey that's kind of the journey that we took as a company. As Jim said, we're reasonably focused on science. We, we say science is in our DNA and I like to think that that's something that differentiates us from a lot of other companies. So we've invested a hell of a lot of time. I've got a group of people that work pretty hard with me. Um, they probably work a bit harder than I do. Certainly that's what they'd say. And they do a lot of, a lot of the work in the lab and a lot of the work in the field as well. So we have done work in the lab and we've progressed that all the way into the field. And I'm going to share some of those results with you. As a company, we've been very focused on the dairy world. We are moving into the beef world. And I think we've got a bit of a story here that covers all of that. And let's start, take the first step of our journey. So Terrigen, we like to think we're innovative. I said um, we're science focused and we are very focused on biological products. That's all we do. So we're not in the chemical world, we're in the biological world, which we think is an alternative and a sensible alternative to using chemicals all the time. Um, we, we understand that farmers always are operating with you know, significant constraints, whether they be regulatory, environmental, commercial, and all of them are big issues, and that imposes financial stresses on the farming world. And so we like to think that our products kind of fit into the right price bracket as well. Um, we have, as Jim said, we've got um, proprietary products. We have protected them with patents. We protect them very vigorously with trade secrets. So we know how to make them and we know how to make them efficiently. And that separates us from the rest of the world as well. And the important thing from our point of view is that we're really focused on healthier animals, which ultimately will contribute to us being healthier and the planet being healthier. And that's, that's really central to our thinking a value that we hold very highly. So I don't need to tell any of you who are rearing calves that it's a pretty stressful time for calves. They go through a whole host of stresses from the time they're born to the time they get a much more immune, um, mature immune system. Weaning for them is you know, it's not obviously natural, but it's stressful. Um, their digestive system changes a hell of a lot. I don't need to tell you that from the time they're born to the time they start to mature. And it's a time where you see a high level of morbidity or mortality. We think, and we kind of are starting to know, that the gut, the gastrointestinal, gastrointestinal system, GRT, is pretty central to all of that, and that helps get them that kickstart in life. And probiotics, and we know this from the human world as well, probably more so from the human world, because a lot more money has been invested into probiotic studies in humans than in animals and livestock type of animals. We know from the human world that probiotics can be an alternative to or supplementary to the use of antibiotics and antimicrobials. Um, the more mature cow is in somewhat the same position. She is often stressed, calving is stressful, producing milk is really energy expensive. Health is a key concern. You know, it doesn't matter where you go, somebody will be talking about mastitis is my biggest problem or lameness is my biggest problem or whatever it might be. Fertility is my biggest problem. And again, we, um, we know from um, studies around the world, literature that we've looked at very, very closely that probiotics can assist with helping the cow overcome those stressful times. 